And with that, the 2022 season comes to an end. Good night. I just saw this TikTok the other day and I was like, wow, 2022 is over? And it really is, it's coming to an end. We're here in December. And so on this week's episode of Journey Students Online, right here where we discuss with our teenagers that go to our youth group, maybe their parents, and anyone who's looking for positive, uplifting content, we're here to discuss this idea of, man, how quickly life goes by. And we see these kinds of TikToks and we remember 2022, a year that's passed, and we can easily have all these emotions stirring on the inside, maybe things we left undone, maybe things that we wish we would have accomplished or things were like, man, I, I really wish, I really hope 2023 is better than 2022. There's all these kinds of emotions. And so I want to leave you with a simple, uh, practical concept that will help you as you tie a bow on the end of the year of 2022. Uh, there's a scripture that goes really well with that TikTok. See, the Bible always tends to have stuff that culture thinks is new, but the Bible's already talked about it. It says in James chapter 4, verse 14, your life is like a vapor, a fog, a wisp of fog here today, then it's gone, right? Just like the year just so quickly moved by. And what the writer is trying to tell us is we shouldn't boast in our own life, right? We really shouldn't because at the end of the day, we don't have any control. At the end of the day, we can't bring any with us and we anything with us when we die. And we can boast and think of all the great things, but at the end of the day, it's gone. Now, that doesn't mean we shouldn't celebrate. You definitely should remember what happened in 2022. Like, remember the great moments. Learn from the mistakes. Grow from the pain. We can always learn something. And as... As the year kind of comes to a conclusion, what we should do is put things in proper perspective. Really what we should do as you look back on 22, 2022 is see where God fit in all of it. Remember and see, look back and see, did I give room to God? Did I give room to love people? Because at the end of the day, those are the things that last, leaving an impact positively on people. The Bible tells us this is the only thing that really remains. The Bible says faith, hope, and love. Those are the things that remain. And so where in your life in 2022 have you allowed that to happen? And as one chapter closes and another chapter begins, as we say, looking ahead to 2023, where can you fit God? Where can you put him in the middle of all of this? in the middle of your life and how can you leave a better impact loving him and loving others so that's all i have for you today i hope it leaves you seize the day seize 2023 and i believe it will be a great one for you let me pray heavenly father thank you for anyone everyone that picked up this podcast this little video and they watched it today uh, this little encouraging word god i pray that you would uh, encourage those that need it challenge those that need it. And God, I pray that you would minister to those right where they are. God, we thank you for this moment. Bless it in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining us online. You can also join us on Wednesday nights. Check us out on our Instagram page at the journey uh, at the J students or on TikTok at the J students underscore YTH. We'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment, leave a review. See you later.